Welcome back. It's always great to see our friend Travis Burks, but we're especially happy to see him when uh, he comes to celebrate National Mac and Cheese Day, which is coming up Sunday the 14th. Right. Yes. Start prepping now. It's a big deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I, th I think the uh, the angle we're going to go with is make, make National Mac and Cheese Day your family's entree. Oh. Yes. So you could, you could use any of these items mm -hmm. for dinner. For dinner. Yeah. And you can make some some options that are several so you could do different things or you could just have one if you wanted to. I oh, so, love it. Um, so where do you want to start because there's we'll, a plethora. Yeah, yeah we'll, do, we'll start uh, just with research in general. Um, this is something they do every year July 14th they push National Mac and Cheese Day. Mm. So it's a good shot to get out try it if you haven't tried it yet and try some different recipes if you want. I know the price cutter this week in the ad is $3.99 so not a bad deal there yeah. with 75 cent off coupons. Brings it down to 324. Look, oh right my gosh, on, I love the, it. It's right there on the top. So, starting with that one, there is baked mac and cheese. Um, that's all the work's done for you. All you have to do is pull it out of the sleeve, take the plastic off, throw the microwave for four or five minutes. Nice. Done. Easy. So, it's really simple and easy that way. So, those are the options there. Some other options for bigger choices would be the family packs. Mm -hmm. You could go that way too if you wanted to feed five, six, seven people. Mm -hmm. um, just regular. Uh, Pack mac and cheese by itself, and or there's a white cheddar parm that's mm. out there too. So um, we can give them a try. I did use the white, the white cheddar parm there with mm -hmm. the uh, with lobster. Nice. So that's lobster that's me. mac you and cheese. You go for it. Lobster. If you'd like to give that okay, a so try. So this one has lobster with the that parm. One? Yep. Okay. And then what is that one? That one there is just the regular signature mac and cheese with um, a pineapple jalapeno smoked sausage. What? Ooh. So cut that up. Yeah. Sauteed in a pan a little bit. Oh my gosh. Threw that in there, so that's really good too. It's kind of got a sweet spice to it. I like it. And then that so one good. on the end? And then that one on the end is a buffalo chicken. Mac oh my gosh. Okay. I know where so you're going. <laughs> if you, which one are you going to start with? You give her a try. Buffalo mac and cheese. I'm going to start with the lobster. For you got it. sure. I'm going to start with the now, lobster. Now, the, in the Puka household, Reese's um, mac and cheese is huge. Especially with the kibasa. Yeah. We do that because it's like great. the upgrade from hot dogs and mac and cheese, right, but yeah. like, you know, the grown up version. Sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's so many different Best. options. You could use hot dogs, smoked sausage, um, of course the lobster or the chicken. You could do a chili mac if you wanted to. Mm. Chili throw, mac, I love it. You could throw tomatoes in there and oh. do like a macaroni and tomato if you yes. wanted to do that way. Oh yeah, and is that what you have here? Yeah, so those the are chili, some, Hormel so beans. Just, just some options that you could do with those. I love the option of, I would, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I throw a little bit of chili and which at the same time. Yes. Okay, and that's not a bad idea. It's your oyster. You can make it whatever I'm you just want. That's what I love about it because it is, I don't want to call it a blank canvas because mac and cheese ain't blank. But it yeah. is a beautiful canvas to build upon, add whatever you want, right. whether it be vegetables, meat, mm -hmm. you know, different different ways to jazz different it up. Thing. You could even do egg rolls <gasps> if you wanted to yes. egg roll wrappers. Did you make we, any? We've done those I before. think you've made those before, yeah, the mac those. and cheese egg rolls. He yeah. did, yeah. yeah. You could use different themes on the inside. Of course, your dips Get in there, um, would go with those different themes. So. Those are some options. Again, you could put out chicken and lobster mm -hmm. and the smoked sausage, bacon, um, of course, chili, and anybody could just make whatever they wanted for dinner. This also, sausage. Oh if you God. don't have plans for Sunday, it's National Mac and Cheese Day. Mm -hmm. Have a mac and cheese party. Have every one of your friends that's yeah. coming over make a different form of mac and cheese. Absolutely. It's Base it easy. off the Reese's, add your own toppings. Yeah, you throw it in the microwave, warm it up, and just go from there. Go from there. So, okay, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead, Travis. I'm just like, Sausage. That sausage. You like is, it? It's got uh, a that's kick, but yeah. it's sweet, like you said. Yeah, it's very unbelievable. Yeah, that's delicious. a country pleasing brand that, that we carry. It's really good stuff. There's several. I'm gonna flavors. hold this one up just but if you want to because favorites. I'm telling you, I've never even the, seen this yeah. uh, kibasa before. Yeah, good it's, stuff. I'm gonna go get some today. Yeah, yeah that's just, that good. I used a uh, um, Frank's dry seasoning, <gasps> and then I used some of the liquid. And then the chicken was just regular chicken, and I sautéed it in buffalo sauce. So like, oh yeah, you didn't. Get oh, to try I didn't that. try that. But so yeah, no, yeah. no, you're Give fine. It try it's not too hot. I don't think. I think no, it's just about right. No, it's mild. Right. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, sorry. <laughs> throw in noodles. I'll get that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> right? Good stuff. Everything's so good. And you know, another option too that I didn't throw out there is you could make a mac and cheese hamburger. If you made a hamburger, you could put some mm. of that on there too. Instead of a slice of cheese. Maybe, yeah, it'd be uh, nasty and fun. I love them. So why not? Mm. So we can move to the next one I thought was, this was probably the easiest one I made so far. This is cauliflower crust. Ooh. Uh, and then uh, the macaroni and cheese with a little extra shredded cheese, some bacon, and then some uh, pasta flavoring just for color for what? pizza. So if you'd like to give that a try, you can this do that as well. This looks restaurant I am, quality. I know, I would order this. And there's no time, literally it was 15 minutes. So if you got home from work and your kids wanted something, or even if they're mm -hmm. home all day by themselves. Mm, hallelujah. That you, cook it, you cook the crust from frozen, you just warm that up in the microwave a little bit, and then put it on there and bake it. It's 
about uh, 15 minutes. Can I ask you a question about the crust then? Where do I find that at Price Cutter? Uh, so it's going to be in the frozen section by the pizzas. Oh. So it'll be in the healthier section of the peach choices, and it's just mm -hmm. a call of power, call of fire crust. Oh, it's call of power. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yep, so I love it. Again, this pizza is good. insanely good. Simple good. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, who knew? Right? So many ways. Yeah, and you could change it up. You could throw any of these other options on there if you wanted to to make it a pizza because you can make pizza in anything. And anything. Just like mm. mac and cheese. Yeah, just like so, mac and cheese, you can make pizza. Marry them together. Oh my, oh my gosh. Job. Well, I'm just so happy because July 14th is actually my dad and stepmom's anniversary. So I gave him the heads up today. I go, yes. it's National Mac and Cheese Day on your wedding anniversary. You better be making some mac yes, and cheese. Yes, you do. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm just no thinking of all about. the different ways you could, like the pizza right here is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you can be creative with adding the, the chicken and the blah, blah, blah. You know, adding everything mm -hmm. to make right. a really gourmet pizza. Yeah. You also have a, a photo with a QR code. Yeah, so the QR code um, on there on the left-hand corner is an opportunity to win a year's supply of mac and cheese. Oh, mm. Get out so your phones right now, guys. You go on there, you can scan that QR code, register, try to win, because who doesn't need enough? Who doesn't need a year's worth of mac and cheese? Yeah. If you've got little kids or little kids in adult bodies like mm -hmm. me, no. We Enter had to a, win. <laughs> we had a two two boys last year win it. Oh, awesome! So they, I mean, they got it for the whole. Okay, year. Maddie, put you on the spot. Of all these that we tried, what's your favorite? Go. Uh, the kielbasa one. I'm going with the kielbasa one. Yeah, I would have to concur uh, with that. Amazing. Yeah. That was my favorite. It's as well. so good. Tom Schmidt, I saw you had your QR code, your phone scan the QR code. Don't worry, you're gonna get to try some, but you gotta talk about the weather first. Big yeah. winner. Who's got two thumbs? Gonna win a year of <laughs> mac, mac and cheese. cheese? Maybe we'll see. Uh, hey, he looks really good. National Mac and Cheese Day coming up July 14th.